want you guys to look what my brother, the one we call Uncle Dan, has already done. He's been coming out here and stacking up hay. I feel bad. I just left the Chinese restaurant when Jamie and I went to eat. We went to eat and the whole time Uncle Dan's over here working. I feel like a total jerk. <laughs> Dan's already been stacking up hay in little clusters so as we can load it easier when I get the, uh, the trailer hooked up. Man, there's Mr. Ed sitting there. He must have Bubba, which is his son out mowing. Not mowing, but ro uh, rolling the hay. There's Mr. Ed sitting right there. Boy, life is good, ain't it? Life is good. How you guys doing? I got I got you on video. Is that okay? I got you on a video. Oh, really? Sitting there enjoying the shade. Hey, Miss Brenda, how you doing? Man, it's going good. Hay's looking good. How much do you think we're going to get? Well, right now, if we count it right, we're in out of these fields. They're 52 already. 52. We ain't even there. Wow. We ain't even in that backfield. That's amazing, Ed. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, let me go help my brother over there. He's going to be, he's cursing me, I'm sure, by now. There's Dan. <laughs> he's been out here working without me. Guys, I'm a waste. I'm a complete waste. So Ed says there's already 52, and they're not even to the back pasture yet. So we're looking at more than 70 rolls of hay. That's so good. Now, we're only going to take 30 to 35 for ourselves. I got to get off and move my tractor out of the way. And then we'll get this thing, we'll get this operation underway. Even though they're halfway finished already. I want to share with you guys a little bit of how you hook up a gooseneck attachment. So this is my gooseneck ball right over here. Those two are just secure anchor locks so that your gooseneck can never bounce off on you and end up coming loose on the highway and causing any serious damage. I'm going to set my camera up over here and record this, how this works. you have to do is align the uh the gooseneck attachment hold on I'm trying to go down with this here this is the manual part of the job here you crank this thing down it's not too hard and as you can see let me set this over here up as i crank you'll be able to watch that head come down on top of that ball that sounds horrible watch the head come down on top of the ball. It should be a nice snug fit if you're doing it right. If you know what you're doing. And I know what I'm doing. All right, that there is how your gooseneck sets onto your truck. It's nice and secured. And uh, we're gonna start loading hay on here. I believe Dan's gonna try to do two. One facing this way, one from the other side. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can get 10 on here pretty easily. We don't want to put weight on my ramps. I may need those. And then at the end, we can always put the ramps up at a 45 if we want to, to stack one extra roll on there. Dan has the hay stacked where I can just drive my gooseneck down the center here. And he'll be able to stack from both sides, which is a really neat idea. He'll tell me when to stop right there. So what we're gonna hope to do is stack five down each side. We might be able to fit six. I'm not exactly sure yet. Uh, Mr. Ed doesn't always roll super tight. And I'll tell y'all, that's kind of a, a hay man's, I don't wanna say a secret, but kind of a hay man's 
way of doing things. It's kind of like when you buy a, what is normally a 50 pound bag of feed and they only stack or put 40 pounds in it. It looks the same, but if it's not rolled real tight, it's not gonna be quite as heavy as what you think it is. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, we may only get eight on here, not 10. I thought we could get 10, but it may only be eight. We're gonna find out. And with these, we're only gonna go as far as the barn, the I'm a Survivor barn. All right, so we will get 10 on here. Now, of course, a lot of folks will stack one layer higher as well, right there in the center to get you a whole 15. We're only gonna go a short distance though, so we're not gonna worry about all of that. We'll just take our 10 and go to the barn. So we're gonna go ahead and refill the front of our barn here. These are hay rolls that we've already used at the different properties. I think we can get nine right here in the front. And then what we're gonna do is come back along and we're gonna continue to stack hay. Since we're not really using our feed room right now, we're gonna probably stack one, two, three, four, five, six. We can probably get nine or so in this side. And we'll also do nine on the other side over there as well. So we will get pretty much all the hay that we're gonna keep stacked into our barn. And then we've told everybody, as far as Jake, Bree, Kim, my dad, if he wants any, and of course, Uncle Dan here, to come pull from here. Just come pull whatever you need from here, and that'll be fine. And uh, we're so blessed to have this big barn here. It's been an amazing place to store hay. And then don't forget that coming up very soon, tomorrow actually, which is our Monday, we're going to be getting all of our pine shakes inside of our stalls and having our little donkeys, our mini donkeys, will all be getting themselves fixed. So we still have plenty of room to move along through here and get the donkeys in, get our vets in and out. And like I said, this is the other side over here that we're not using. I've been parking my tractor over here, but I can park my tractor over in the uh, carport since Ellie and Megan, neither one want to use it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and say this so that you all don't go crazy. We want this to grow up. There's no animals on this pasture or going down that lane. And we're trying to go ahead and let anything that we can grow up in here to kind of start holding our soil in place. It'll keep our barn a whole lot cleaner from having dust continually blow across here. And then once we get a nice thick layer of stuff, we'll start trying to cultivate it and, you know, get good pretty grass to grow and not all the weeds. So just don't let this over here take away from a really neat video. You all are gonna think I'm being lazy, but I'm not being lazy. Right now I'm doing animal control. I'm keeping these little munchkins here out of Uncle Dan's way. See, y'all just wanna play on the hay, don't you? Y'all just wanna play up there, right? We love y'all, but y'all get in the way. We had to put Rooster, sorry Rooster, 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 I had to put you up because you're in the way. We love Rooster, we love these goats, but uh, Uncle Dan's trying to work. So this over here is all Uncle Dan's hay. And he's smart. He's going to stack his hay inside. I think Kim wants her hay stacked inside. You want to go on top, Dan, or not? You think you can go on top or not? You don't have to. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. We can get more in here that way. I'm letting Dan do whatever he wants to do. That's Dan's doings right there. That's Dan's doings. All right, this is the moment of truth. Mr. Ed, how many rolls of hay did we get this time around? 85. Hold on, 85 yep. rolls of hay. Yep. Ed, that's a tremendous amount of hay. Never. You've never got that kind of hay from here. Tell me. My goodness gracious. God is good. God is good. Oh, my God. I, well, I knew when we had so much up front and we still had the whole back to go. Ed, let me shake your hand, my brother. Oh, you're welcome. You are all right, Ed. I really love you, brother. Thank, Thank you so much, Ed. Just overjoyed. And then Mr. Ed shared some other news. Tell me that again. My cancer is at zero right now. Y'all hear now. that? Cancer is at zero right yeah. now. It's going to stay that way, brother. I hope so. Hey, hey we God need... God blessed us. I'm telling you. Has you got, hey, this, this field got... God hey, this my field. brother got all his hay that he needs. Jake got all his, my nephew. Mm -hmm. My dad got whatever he needs. I got all that I need. And then some, we... And you got some. I got plenty. We're good. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. This is so good, y'all. And there's his son, Bubba, right there. This is a... God is so good. God is so gosh darn good, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so very much. Thank you for your prayers. And uh, I tell you what.
I just ain't gonna be able to talk or I'm gonna start crying. Cause ain't no one ever got no 80 plus rolls off these fields, ever, ever, 80. And then I'll say one last thing, it's gonna be kind of sad. You know, Joanne has this pasture up for sale and uh, we love Joanne and I understand that she's here by herself and to her, there's not really a reason to hold on to it. But I'll tell you what, what a blessing it's been for us to all, to get this hay for the last 10 years or so. My dad and Uncle Raleigh used to bail it before them, before us. And then uh, it has just served their family so darn well. You hate to see it sold. You don't know what to become. This could all become lots. It could all become a business. You never know what will become of all this. A mobile home park, who knows? <laughs> But I'll tell you what, I, I hope that this day will live on for as long as I can, as long as I'm kicking 80 something rolls of hay. Thank you all. Thank you, Lord, Lord. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Something like that.